Huh? Where the heck's Razor? Paimon thought he would have been here by now. Hmm. He had a pretty big day when we last saw him. Do you think he fell asleep when he got back and is still snoozing away now? Fair enough. You're right. Let's keep waiting. Well, since we've got some time on our hands, let's put our heads together and try to figure out that poem. Tone Deaf Bard mentioned some ingredients, but they all sounded super abstract. An explorer's courage, a love tender and true, a defender's will, and the thousand winds song of good cheer. Do you have any ideas? Yeesh, that's even more abstract! How do we go about looking for this wine's character? Where do we start? Huh? Are you saying that it has something to do with Mondstadt's institutions? Wow, that actually makes a surprising amount of sense. So the poem wasn't talking about any specific ingredients after all. More like the general gist. Now that you mention it, it just so happens that all the institutions you mentioned are organizers of the Violaza Fest. Wait, this is way too big of a coincidence. That Tone Deaf Bard, did he just make all this up on the spot? In that case, the last part about the Thousand Winds Song of Cheer must be code for the toasting ceremony. Oh, now we're cooking! We'll crack your riddle recipe yet, Tone Deaf Bard! When Razor gets here, let's visit all the places you mentioned and talk to some people we know there. We definitely should be able to find some more clues that way. Miss Honorary Knight, Paimon. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm late. That's all right. We were just chatting. The Traveler's pretty smart, so thanks to her, we're finally on to something. Hi. I was on my way. Then I saw Klee. They let me out for Vine Lisa Fest. Albedo is super busy helping Timaeus fix his recipe for an extra strong sobriety potion. So he doesn't have time to come play with me right now. I'm just playing by myself instead. But it's so cool! All the grown-ups in Mondstadt are out to celebrate the festival! Everyone's smiling and having loads of fun! I wanted to join in too, so I made a whole bunch of stuff so I can celebrate with everyone in my very own way. Very own way? Uh-oh, this does not bode well coming from Glee. And that's when I bumped into Razor! Razor was acting kind of different than usual, like he was thinking about something. So I asked him what happened. And then Razor said that he was looking for his mommy. <laughs> I did not say mommy. Oh, it's okay, silly. Mommies are important people, so finding your mommy is a super important job. That's why Klee's gonna come help. <sighs> Razor! Razor! Finally, I found you! Bennett? Oh! <laughs> Look who's here! Hey, everyone! Here, this is for you! Uh, a small lampgrass? Yep, that's right. I tripped up on it this morning and took a little tumble. I did a full face plant, but somehow this little thing came out completely unscathed. That's when I knew it was destined to go into your wine mix. Bennett, how did you manage to trip up on a small lamp grass? Huh, that's true. They do glow after all. No, no, I wasn't talking about the glowing. What I meant was, they're really big and easy to spot. So, I don't get how you didn't see it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was just running too fast and got careless, I guess. Okay, I guess maybe I won't tell them about the other face plants that came after that. 
Anyway, I've been all over the place trying to find Razor this morning. Everyone I asked told me I just missed him. Good thing I've caught up now. I can finally catch my breath. Thanks. How did you know I need ingredients? Oh, that? Yeah, interesting story. This lady came to see Master Cyrus, asking for the Adventurer Guild's support with the Vine Lace Fest. She said she was a librarian. Anyway, she mentioned your situation too, and asked if we could help. Whoa, Lisa is doing some real work for once? Oh, so that was Lisa? People say she's crazy intelligent, but just doesn't go out much. First time I've ever seen her. I thought long and hard about what ingredients to pick, and came up with a load of suggestions that I was going to discuss with you. But then I realized that small lampgrass was clearly the best. It shines a light to guide the way for explorers in the dark. Doesn't that sound like a wonderful thing? Oh, apologies for the trouble. Ah, don't give me that. I get how you must be feeling about all of this. Besides, you gotta help out your friends, right? If my family, uh, well, my dad's ever needed help one day, I know you'd be there for me too. Yes. Can I help too? Please take me with you, please. I wanna join in. Please in high spirits today. She seems more excited by this festival than anyone. Bennett, before now, you never talk about your family. Uh, <laughs> well, that's because I never met my parents. I was raised by some of the older adventurers in the guild, so we're not exactly a typical family. But if you do want to hear about them, I can tell you some of my dad's stories. Hmm. Okay, I'll start with the most awesome one. Oh, Bennett. You can be Mommy's kid, just like Clee. My mom is super nice. She'll take great care of you. Huh? Hmm. I really appreciate the thought, Clee, but I'm afraid I can't accept your offer. I already have my dads and all my friends. And let's not forget that I'm the leader of Benny's adventure team. You don't need to worry about me. Oh, okay. I got it. Um, then have this! A jumpy donkey? Yeah! It's a lazy, dopey, jumpy dumpty that always dozes and never explodes. I hope you guys can be best friends. Are you sure? Yep! Jumpy Dumpty will be happy to make a new friend, too. I'm also happy for you. Good idea! Maybe Clee will bring Bennett some good luck, and the adventure will go smoothly. And you might just find some treasures you'd never noticed before. Of course, it's also highly possible that Clee will be the only one who gets lucky. Still, on the flip side, Clee won't be getting into any trouble with Bennett there, and this way she'll still get to enjoy the Vinelisa Fest. Cool. Don't worry about a thing. We'll look after each other. Yay! Adventure! Treasure! Find Lisa Fest! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> oh! Wait, but what about Wolfie? Wolfie, uh, I mean Razor needs looking after. Honorary Knight, Paimon, you'd better take care of Razor, okay? Make sure he finds his mommy. <laughs> Good luck. See you later, folks. Ah, <sighs> it's so nice to see everyone in such a good mood. Oh, Paimon almost forgot the whole reason we came here. Razor, the Traveler and Paimon were just chatting about the ingredients Venti mentioned in his poem. We think that they're actually a description of the wine's characteristics. Plus, it seems like each of them means something special to one of the three big institutions in Mondstadt. 
So if we talk to some people we know at each place, maybe we'll find what you're looking for. <sighs> What's wrong? Something on your mind? Do you want to talk about it? Yes. These days, I think a lot. I am not smart. Not like teacher. Not like traveler. But I still have to think. Everyone is ready to help, but some things I must do myself. I don't understand human father and mother, but I must find a way to understand. Maybe I can learn about other people's father and mother first, then think about my own father and mother. That's why I want to ask questions. That's great! Keep at it and you'll definitely find the answer eventually. Never knew Bennett is like me. When he talks about dads, his scent changes. Warm, like a bed of straw in the sun. Yeah, we should head back into the city. Let's find a friendly face at the Church of Favonius. Hmm, now who does Razor know best at the church? Excuse me? I couldn't help but overhear you're about to head back into the city. Is that right? I'm waiting on a fruit cart from the city. It should be here now, but I'm getting worried that something may have happened on the way. But I can't leave the festival to check up on it. Would you be able to do me a huge favor and keep an eye out for the cart on your way back? Um, well, if it's on the way... Okay, we go. I go too. Everyone helps me. Now I have chance to help everyone. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> this way. Oh, Paimon sees the cart, but what are these hilly trails doing here? Do they want some fresh fruit now, too? To the rescue! Hmm. <sighs> Finally! These hilly trills are a little too obsessed with food for their own good. But never mind that. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Phew. I'm fine, thanks to you. You are just in time. Any later and all you found here is a pile of pulp. And I don't think there'd be much left of the fruit, either. Got it. Well, thanks again. I'd better not delay this delivery any longer. So, goodbye and happy Vine Lace Fest. Thanks to you too, kiddo. <sighs> Enemy following. Enemy? <laughs> I think we're a little closer than that. On some level, you could even say that we're brother and sister. Rosaria! What the heck are you doing here? Uh, wait. Actually, turning up at random places is pretty normal for you. Okay, next question. What the heck do you mean, brother and sister? Varka taught you how to use that sword, I take it. Swift, but powerful. <laughs> I can spot that old-timer style anywhere. Uh, huh? I see you're not much of a talker. <laughs> well, there's something else you could learn from Varka. Never lost for words, even when he has nothing to say. It'd be good conversation practice for you. Just a shame we have no idea when I'll be back. It's okay. I will wait. Brother and sister? Varka? Oh, Paimon gets it. Varka is a father figure to both of them, so that makes them family. Just not by blood. Well, blood relations are overrated anyway, don't you think? Oh, I almost forgot. You have a brother. 
cold, dark grown-up. You also don't remember what your real mother and real father look like? Huh. So you're helping him dig up some info on his biological parents. And trying to help him build a concept of family along the way. All right, you got me. I barely have any memories of my birth parents. The last time I saw them was long before I had any understanding of the world around me. But that seems pretty common. Even in this day and age, there are plenty of people in the world who can't stop thinking about their families, but will never get to see them. Anyway, if you're never gonna meet someone, it's not worth spending mental energy on them. It's more important to focus on the kind of person you want to become. No, you are wrong about this. Lupacol protect each other. Human family also important. Must care about them. Fine. So let's say you do find out who your parents were and they were saints. Or the opposite, they were complete monsters. What then? How would that affect your life choices? What would you do about it? Um... Whew, Rosaria's take is a little on the nose. That's a hard one for Razor to answer. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to make this any more difficult than it already is. But Razor's feeling lost and confused right now, and all the other Mondstatters we know are too sunny and bright to tell it like it really is. The sun nurtures many good things, but it can't do anything about the problems lurking in the shadows. Wow, Rosaria. All right, I'll leave it there. <laughs> Take this flower. It's icy cold, just like me. Barbara's busy preparing the sung poetry event for the Vine Lisa Fest. She couldn't get away, so I picked an ingredient out on behalf of the church. But can we really use a mist flower? Won't it freeze the entire barrel? No, not now that I've dealt with it. The bard did say to think freedom, didn't he? So go on, take it. It won't be a problem. Aw, Rosaria! You're more thoughtful than Paimon realized! <laughs> uh, wait! You heard the bard say that?! Were you spying on us?! Thank you. Don't mention it. It's nothing. Varka's been a big help to me in the past, so just consider it returning a favor. Besides, if I'm your older sister, I might as well act like it. Good luck finding your answers. Now you see her, now you don't. I'm slowly getting used to her style. Oh, oh well, as love tender and true goes, that was pretty awkward, but still counts, right? Now that's left is the Knights of Avonius. <sighs> Razor, are you still thinking about what Rosaria said? Her words are like mist flower. They are cold, and they sting. But cold also good for wounds, like wolf hook. I need to think about it. Maybe then I will understand. Okay. I will come with you. I think while we walk. So you see, you're the best person for this. Oh, -ho, just in time. Lisa and I were just talking about Razor's situation. Where were we? Ah, yes. The barrel. Huh? But uh, obviously the nuts part is supposed to be a defender's will. But what kind of ingredient is a barrel? 
Oh, fair enough. <laughs> oh, Paimon, don't worry. You'll get your ingredient. I've already tasked someone with sorting it out. The person is very conscientious and wants to properly research their contribution, so it may take some time, but hopefully it'll be worth the wait. As for the barrel, how else were you planning on mixing all the ingredients? Surely not in the giant cooking pot at Dada Upa Gorge. After much deliberation, I realized this was a job for the most sociable and savviest member in our ranks, the cavalry captain. So I asked him to take a trip to the Dawn Winery and somehow bring back a wine barrel. Uh, all right, spare me the flattery, Lisa. We're all friends here, and I know you're only trying to help your student. But I haven't been back there in a long time. This could be quite difficult to accomplish in just a single trip. Difficult? For you? Don't be silly. Negotiating is your biggest strength. Fine Lisa Fest is one of the most important festivals in Mondstadt, and you know how Diluc thinks better than anyone. Just drop a few little hints, like how this is the first festival Mondstadt has had in a long time. We're short on much-needed supplies for a multitude of reasons. Oh, who can help us? When he hears that, I guarantee you he'll offer to help out with finances and sourcing goods. Lisa's literally trying to extort Master D. Luke. Hmm. I suppose. All right. I'll head out right away. Well, he didn't take much persuading. <sighs> and Paimon was just about to thank Lisa for the things she's been doing for Razor behind the scenes. Oh, Paimon doesn't even know whose side to be on anymore. Mm. Traveler and teacher did a lot for me. A lot of work. But me, I still can't answer questions. So useless. Dear me, what's gotten you so upset, my little wolf cub? We can't have you being so down in the dumps. Ah, I see. Hmm. Cutie, how about you keep Kaya company while I stay here and help Razor process his feelings? As his teacher, I owe him some tutelage anyway. Come and collect him in a few days' time. The last ingredient should be ready by then as well. Splendid. I was just thinking about how nice it would be to have some company on my trip. I don't know what is right, but I trust teacher. I accept. Run along now, and don't forget to tell Diluc that the Knights of Favonia send our regards. Hi there, Master Diluc! Oh, I was just wondering who'd be coming all the way out here during the Vine Laser Fest. So, it's you two. <sighs> and you, too. Brr, so cold. Almost enough to make me feel unwelcome here, Master Diluc. Don't forget that this is my home, too. I'm fairly certain that taking a trip home during festival season is a universal custom, common to all the cultures of Tevat. Please get to the point. The point is one that you've already raised yourself. The Vinlesa Fest. To celebrate this long-awaited festival, the Acting Grand Master has been coordinating with both the Church and the Adventurers Guild to host a series of events. Unfortunately, given the financial situation of the Knights of Favonius, well, I'm sure you can imagine. And the Knights of Favonius's woes have what, exactly, to do with me? Hey, no need to be so cruel. Even I'm not going to take that. Everyone's just doing the best they can for Mondstadt. Now, I can't remember the last time I tasted Don Winery's Vinlesa Fest special. And I'm sure the Mondstadt populace would echo this sentiment. Are you going to deny others the opportunity to drink to their heart's content just because you don't like to drink yourself? Check it out. Kai is not so subtly asking for freebies. He's actually doing it. Anyway, speaking of the knights, everyone dearly hopes that you'll rejoin our ranks again one day. Then we'll be one big happy family again. If we were able to enjoy the sterling reputation of Master Diluc, my, 
I'm sure people would be queuing for our charity booth all the way to Falcon Coast. Huh. Give that silver tongue of yours a rest. You might need it to maintain public order at the festival. Duly noted on the financial issues you raised. I'll have Elzer follow up with Hertha in more detail. And I just so happen to have a batch of wine that I can offer as a token of appreciation to everyone that has been working so hard for the festival. Shall I address it to you personally? That would be an absurd request, even for me. The words, with compliments from the Dawn Winery, ought never be preceded by, to the cavalry captain. Is that not the unwritten rule? You're better informed than I thought. In that case, I will leave this with Adeline and keep everything anonymous. I really can't thank you enough. Master Diluc is so generous. That's all Paimon needs to get that warm, fuzzy feeling. <sighs> Which is just as well, since you won't be allowed to drink a drop. Huh. Are you two here regarding the Vine Laser Fest, too? Poor Razor. He grew up so fast. And he's still looking for his father. Master Diluc, we really ought to lend him a hand. How come Klee said he's looking for his mom, but Kaya says he's looking for his dad? It might make more sense to them, but it's gonna get confusing for everyone else. It's okay. I understand. We have a spare barrel in the winery. It's a little old, but it's been specially treated for durability. You could leave it next to a flaming flower all day and there wouldn't be a scratch. I think that one should satisfy your needs. Sounds great! We'll take it! When can we come fetch it? No need. I'll have someone deliver it to the festival market. Just collect it from the Angel Share stand. Aw, you always make things so nice and easy for us, Master D. Luke. <laughs> Thanks a lot! Razor will really appreciate it. You're more than welcome. Helping each other is what friends do. Wonderful. Always eager to help, and never forgets to return a favor. That's the Master D. Luke I know. Oh, it's nearly dinner time. Uh, would you care to stay for a meal? How time flies. I'll be on my way then. <laughs> How did you put it? Ah, oh, yes. Taking a trip home during festival season is a universal custom, common to all the cultures of Tevat. Now that even Master Diluc has made an offer, are you quite sure you won't stay for a meal after coming all this way, Master Kaya? I couldn't possibly, Adeland. I wouldn't want to trouble you. Oh, don't say that. How often do I get a chance to indulge my dear Master Kaya, hmm? Tea for the cavalry captain when you visit in an official capacity doesn't count. I only get to spoil you if you let me cook for you. Oh, uh... Well then, what happened to your swagger? Lost for words? <laughs> Diluc, you... Surely you wouldn't dream of disappointing Adeland. All right, then. I'll take you up on the offer. Adeland, one more set of cutlery, please, if you'd be so kind. Ooh, Paimon's so full. Adeland's cooking is amazing. Everything looked and tasted so beautiful. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join again anytime. Oh? Then I may have to tag along on the Traveler's Adventures more often in the future. Ugh, Kai is back to his usual ways. All right, now that our task is complete and our bellies are full, it's time for me to get back to work. Take care, Master Kaya. Have a safe trip back. We should get going as well. Lisa's taking care of Razor, but the Vinelays of Fest can't do without us. See you next time, Master D. Luke. Indeed. Goodbye. <laughs>